Hello, welcome to anyone on YouTube. I just started the recording to anyone watching live. They're probably very confused. Uh, I Oh my God, we just finished. Me and Melty and anyone else here in the chat just finished uh, fucking Falcon and Winter Soldier season one, episode four. I don't remember the title. God damn, dude, that was good. That was fucking good. I'm so bummed. That was one of the ones where like, fuck I wish we just had all the episodes right the fuck now. God damn it. Ugh. Melty, how'd you like it? I just want more. <laughs> that one was very clearly like the end of like, like the next one is going to pick up right from there. You know what I mean? That was some intense shit. That was absolutely like shit finally coming to a head in a lot of different ways. Like the Dora Milaje, um, john walker i'm glad they finally went there like there's six episodes total and that was episode four we have two more episodes i'm glad we're at the point where john took the fucking serum and lamar died uh spoilers if i could you know this is a quick little reaction slash review so i'm glad we're at that point because we knew that point was coming Garrett, what's up? What's up? Fucking talk to me about it, bud. Talk to me about it. Yeah. Um, so good. Very, very much enjoyed that episode. Every week, I, I kind of try and forget that the show exists because I if I think about it and like be hyped about it, then it'll just kill me because I'll be like, fuck, I want to see it so bad. And I, then I'll just be so hyped about it. What's good, my dude? Your logo rips. Thanks, dude. I'm, uh, we are, we just finished watching Falcon and Winter Soldier episode four. So if you don't want to be spoiled for that, I would duck out. We're talking about that at the moment here. What was that ending? I'm in shock. Are you, are you? <laughs> Cause I was predicting that as it went, you know what I mean? But I will say as soon as he did the whole, like lift the shield bit, I a hundred percent figured Bucky or I don't know, some, I figured Bucky because he's the he has the serum, uh, but somebody was gonna like catch it with their hands and be like, "No, John, this is not the way. It's not the Jedi way." You know what I mean? But then, uh, then I was like, "Oh shit, they did it!" I expected them to be a little more brutal, to be honest. Like, if you're gonna commit, commit. You know what I'm saying? Don't just show his hand bloody. He went for the chest. The shield was a little bloody, but like, if you're gonna commit, commit. Like, go for the head, you know what I mean? Oh my god. Uh, there has been 20 bajillion bots in here tonight, and I don't understand why there's been so many. Oh my god. You wanted John to hold up the head and scream. Yeah, let's hold it up by the hair. Be like, ah! <laughs> That's what I wanted, you know what I mean? Very similar to the end of, uh, maybe that's why they specifically did the chest, why they had him specifically hit his chest, because they were trying to draw parallels like that. That's fair. That's fair. That's kind of cool. I didn't think about that. Um, I'm glad we are to that point. I liked the relationship with Carly and Sam throughout this. I thought that was really fucking cool. Um, literally going to Wakanda and hearing like the Black Panther music, dude, come on. Oh, it was awesome. Um, oh, I do. I'm looking through my notes here to see if there's a, like what I specifically pointed out about what I liked there. Um, the whole, like at one point when Sam is talking about, uh, going and talking to Carly and he's like, this is what I used to do. Like I used to provide counsel to soldiers. Like this is literally what I used to do. I was like, that's such a fucking cool, like look back on Sam's character from when he met Steve. Like he was doing that. That is his job. Like, and that was in fucking, when did, when did Sam show up? F not age of Ultron fucking. Oh God. Uh, Winter Soldier, right? Right? I think maybe maybe a little earlier. I don't fucking know. But like in the movie where Sam showed up, like that's what he was doing. And we haven't heard about that forever. I love God. Kevin Feige, man. Kevin Feige is a goddamn genius. And I love that man. He's so good. Um, Let's see here. What else did I like? 
Yeah, I, I really, I think this, ooh, I think this might be my favorite episode. I think episode two was the most fun um, and overall enjoyable, but, you know, this is very much, episode four is a, the climax of shit, like, shit's coming to a head, you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're getting more, we got a lot more progression kind of here with a lot of the characters. Um, trying to th- see any other things that I like here. I really liked the line and honestly I thought Anthony Mackie's fucking acting really impressed me during the like during the talk with Carly specifically I thought he fucking nailed that shit but the the whole I agree with your fight I just can't get with the way you're fighting it was so good like that whole line and the way he fucking acted it was awesome it was so good yeah, Walker getting his ass kicked by the Wakandans was also very satisfying. I did not expect them to give us something so satisfying for John Walker, but I really appreciated that. That was fantastic. <laughs> I liked Zemo as they're fighting, just drinking, and then eventually slipped out. You know what I mean? Just drinking and then eventually got on out of there. Also, there's the... I should be counting how many fucking bots there's been tonight. Um... Sebastian, do you, what point Sebastian Stan's acting at one point really stood out in a great way? What at what point? I really like the um. She said to come alone. He's like, I'm coming with you, because literally, you know, earlier in the episode, uh, John's like, your partner, and he's like, he's not my partner. You know what I mean? Like, I liked the then later with the um, with uh the whole. She said to come alone. He's like, I'm I'm coming with you. I thought that was a really nice progression. And it makes sense. You know what I mean? But I like Zemo taking the drink while they're fighting and then eventually slipping away. I thought that was really good. Uh, I love the fucking... They did a homage to the fucking Winter Soldier knife flip. They did that again. That was awesome. I was like, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, the beginning with Io was really awesome. The six years before in Wakanda, that whole scene was really fucking cool in general that we even got that. Um, I thought that was dope. Let's see what else. As soon as Zemo started smashing the serum, I'm all over the place, but I just want to talk about what I liked, right? My, I'm, I'm tired tonight. I just want to talk about the cool shit. As soon as Zemo started smashing all of the serum... I was immediately like, they're going to leave one. They're going to leave one. Maybe two. Maybe two. So, like, my 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 theory for how this is going to end, if it does end in any sort of predictable um, way, right, is that John's going to get the serum, which I, I had already said this before this episode, and half of it has already come true. I was like, John's going to get the serum. He's going to be all evil. Uh, and then by the end of the ep- by the end of the season, Sam's going to get the serum, and he's going to be all good. It's going to be a good serum versus a bad serum. It's going to be very early Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 1 of a good Iron Man versus a bad Iron Man. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a good Black Panther and a bad Black Panther. Like... It's going to be a very similar kind of thing. And it still seems like they're going down the path to do that. I agree in that it's very... It would seem weird for them to to go down that stereotypical kind of uh, road. But that's just the road that it seems like they're going. It seems like they're fucking doing it. We'll see, though. Um, We'll see. Sam won't beat Walker without it, showing that he doesn't need it, but that's fucking stupid. (laughs) Be real. That's a very, like, that's a very, in theory, a very nice moment. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't need it. You know what I mean? But he fucking needs it. Like, that's stupid. (laughs) You know what I mean? Flag Smash is falling apart. Power Broker, where? Great fucking point. I was talking with Melty throughout the episode about the power broker, the way they are still setting him up, I still say the power broker has to be some sort of big cameo with the way they've been fucking hyping up this goddamn power broker with his name. The amount of times they fucking said him and not shown him, he has to be a cameo. If he's not, people will be mad. Um, and the way they've been talking about him, the way they've been pacing this shit out, seems very much like it's like a season two thing with the way the pacing is going. Like, there's two more episodes. We haven't seen the Power Burger. It's not going to be a... 
he's not going to be a big part of the show. Like there's two episodes left. You know what I mean? Like there that's that's either a lead up to a season two or something, which I don't think they're going to do or some sort of lead up or team or, or tease for a future movie or something like it's gotta be like, I don't know, which is exciting, but we'll see. We'll see. Sharon is definitely sus. Someone uh, big showing up in season five in episode five. Yeah, it's and that it's going to be emotional. It's got to be the power broker. It's got to be the fucking power broker. You know what I mean? Uh, let me see. What other bits did I like? I thought the whole idea of how anyone who wants to be superhuman is basically automatically tied to supremacist ideals. I thought that was a very interesting fucking conversation. A very interesting point. That's all. I just thought that was awesome. I was like, I would love to like dive more into that. You know what I mean? Phil Coulson, dude. Phil Coulson, the power broker. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Phil Coulson. Not going to say the status of him because I did accidentally on my podcast and I have a friend who's watching uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and I spoiled it for him, so we're just going to move on. Phil Coulson, he's a character. Uh, let's see. I really liked the the beginning scene with Io and Bucky. I thought that was really cool to show that they have a strong bond. You know what I mean? I thought that was really cool. I thought that was awesome because showing that in the beginning and then later showing how she knew how to disconnect his arm was kind of like a weird sort of like it it made it hit more because he honestly looked betrayed because of like the clear trust that they built throughout those years. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, so good. MCU. Fuck yeah. It's awesome. MCU. Let's go. You know what I mean? Falcon and winter soldier. Episode four. I don't know the title of it. Uh, it'll be in the title of this YouTube video. I think I'm going to cut this here. Uh, if you want to know more detailed thoughts, I always, every week we do a podcast on, uh, you can just search Tyson and Teddy talk on any, uh, audio service or YouTube or, you know, in the YouTube search bar, uh, and you can find it that way. We post that every Monday. These, these are just quick little reactions review right after I watch the episode and I just throw it up on YouTube. Uh, but I have a more in-depth discussion with my friend Tyson, uh, every week on that show if you want more uh, and if you want to watch this with us you can go to twitch.tv slash teddy chineris if you want to be a part of the discussion every thursday night we stay up hella late and uh i can talk with my chat here and they're they're a part of this so do you guys have any final thoughts on uh the the episode here i know garrett really liked it melty said it was super intense it was good man it's a good episode it's a good episode I enjoyed it. I can't fucking, like, ugh. I just want more. Sharon will be revealed to be the power broker. That had, that, that was a theory. That was definitely a theory. But, like, it, it can't be. Mephisto. It has to be, dude. It's Mephisto. Sharon will be revealed to be Mephisto. And on that note, I think that's a great way to end this. Uh, 100% confirmed I agree with that theory. Uh, and you know, look forward to that in the finale in two weeks. You'll you'll see, you'll see. But Twitch.tv slash Teddy Chineris, if you want to be a part of this, uh, I will go ahead and get out of here. Like and subscribe, hit that bell. You know what I mean. Bye.